Okay. So, we talked about career women. The difference between a career, say career. 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 It's career. Career. No. Can, no. Here is like car. 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 Career. Career. Okay. It becomes a little bit of a cat, like cat. But here is like k. So it's completely k, like career. 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 Yeah. Career. Career. Melinda? Korea. Career. Korea. Like Korea, the country, yeah. Korean, Korea. So it's like career. Korea. 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 Thank you. Career. So anyway, so we have the, the career. So to commute, commutation commuter, driving to work every morning. Some people prefer to work from home. Uh, we don't say work at home. I work at home. If you say I work at home, what does that mean? If I said you work at home? People work here. Thank you. Yeah, it means yes. It's yeah, would you work at home is like do you help around home? Do you do some house chores? Do you clean the kitchen? Do you uh, wash the dishes? Do you I don't know, do certain things at home? Do you work at home? No, he, he never works. My husband my husband never works at home. So Never helps around. But work from home is when your work is inside home. You have an office inside your house and you work from home. Some people prefer to work from home. From home. Remember, work from home. Now, the process of getting a job. We talked about it. What is a process? Let's uh, go to Hank. What is the process of getting a job? Yeah, you first wake up. That's good. That was good. You first wake up and then. <laughs> the process of getting a job. Where do you start? Okay, she hasn't thought about it. She's not looking yet. Ming, what do you think? <laughs> The process of uh, looking, um, getting a job, that's uh, we start. Uh, we had to have a uh, dream job, the idea for the perfect job, and then you prepare resume, CV, mm -hmm. and then you had to find the job from internet or um, by, mm -hmm. by person. Yes. And then you apply. Then you apply. And they will give you some uh, paper to fill. You have uh, some papers to fill, some forms to fill. Yes. And then? And then we had to wait for email for interview. Good. And next is interview, and next is? Uh, interview. And after interview, we should send an email about the interviewing. And then we wait for the job. We will wait for the job to come. OK. So yes. So the process is, first uh, I should look for, for a job, right? Uh, where do I go to look for a job, usually? Now, these days? Online, right? You go online, you start looking for a job. When you start looking for a job online, um, you usually go to job search engines, right? Uh, internet job search engines job search engines. Yeah? Such as? Craigslist. The Craigslist, the GG, Wild Jobs, um, Indeed, something like that. And then you check the ads. Ads, what's an ad? The British people call it. The British people call ads adverts. Americans call them ads. Can you 
Canadians call them ads and adverts. It's basically advertisements, right? Advertisements. In the paper, in the newspaper, in the stuff, you have some advertising. We need a dental hygienist. We need a technician. We need a an electrician. That's an ad, a job ad. The classified section of newspapers. Do you know classified section? Yes. The classified. The classified. Where they have all the ads are there. If you want to say condolences to somebody because somebody's dead, you go to the classified section. If you want to look for a job, you go to the classified section. So. Uh, On TV, we have some ads. What do we call the ads on TV, usually? Commercial. Commercial. TV commercials. That's advertising, but they call them TV commercials. Is that commercials? Actually, it comes from commerce, but it has nothing to do with that, this word. You know commerce? What's commerce? We also have Chamber of Commerce. What's Commerce? Commerce. C O W -M, M E R C E. Commerce. <laughs> For the sake of our video, could you stop that? <laughs> So, commerce is basically about trade between two countries, right? Between countries. It's commerce. Uh, import and export, right? All of that is commerce. Uh, every country has a chamber of commerce. You know, chamber of commerce, there's a room or a place, a building where people go and business people from that country come to this country and talk for deals, for agreements, for ties. Hmm? That's where we have chamber of commerce. Chamber? Chamber means room of commerce, but it's not a room basically. Chamber of Commerce is a building, it's like a whole, it's a huge place, right? So people from a, you know, when Japan, for example, wants to trade with the United States, people, huge companies, they go to the Chamber of Commerce, they have representatives, they come and talk about commerce trade. So, commercial, it's basically, you say, hey, education is now becoming very commercial. It's like a commodity. You know commodity? What's a commodity? This is a good word for IELTS writing as well. Commodity. Because uh, commodity is like a product. Uh, today, business people look at everything through the lens of profit and profit making. You know profit? Of course. Yes? I want to say about some of these words. So profit, profit is different from this profit. Like this profit is like Muhammad. Yeah, or Jesus. Or Abraham. Or any of those nice people. Prophets. I want to say. So those are profits. But this profit is different from that profit. Let's say goodbye to the prophets, Jesus, Muhammad, and Abraham, for now. Um, this is profit. If something, there is profit in it, we say this business is very profitable. profitable. It's profitable. 
to profit as a verb. Profit as a noun. Profitable as adjective. To profit as verb. But what is the preposition with profit? They are profiting gap. They're profiting in for of they're profiting of our uh, hard labor of no what for for no you said them all with all the prepositions but on profit on no louder from from yes you profit from What's the opposite of profit? The opposite of profit is? Loss. 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 So a business either makes profit or makes loss that loses money. Yes? If your business makes money, then it's profitable. You stay in business. If your business starts losing money, what happens to the business? In hard times, hard economic times, like maybe right now, especially two, three years ago, many companies, many businesses went uh-huh. To go bankrupt. Means to fail. To fail. Many businesses failed. They went bankrupt. What's the noun for it, Tulia? Bankruptcy. Yes. Tulia, how do you how do you spell it? Bankrupt is K R U P T, right? Bank and rupt. But bankruptcy. B A N K R U P C Y. Is this correct? No T. Is this correct? Check it. It's not correct. It's E on the end. So first of all, to go bankrupt. One of those words you need to keep in mind. In IELTS, it's important. Because if I know the word, if I don't know how to spell it, then I'll lose. Now, do the native speakers know all the spellings? No. That's why when if they take the test, they will lose too. Some scores. Especially for spelling. So bankrupt and bankruptcy. But it's right, bankrupt. C. What was it? Bankruptcy. Bankrupt. To go bankrupt, to fail. Many companies, many startups, startup businesses are the ones who just start. They go bankrupt. Even many big companies went bankrupt just a few years ago, right? So we will 
take a look at this in just a bit. So a business is either profitable and makes money, or loses money and is, and goes bankrupt. To go bankrupt, <coughs> go bankrupt. Like go on a strike, go on a diet. Go on strike is my, what? What is strike? And the employees doesn't work. Employees don't work, right? To go on, to go on strike. When employees stop working, why? Because they're working hours. Because they're not happy.